Uh, hello everyone, uh, this is the second tutorial uh, of, uh, of using ChatGPT how to solve the simple engineering problem. So in previous one, we gave a simple example how to determine the bending shear force in this uh, tutorial, which is a little advanced, which we were discussing on the beam vibration. So beam vibration is actually uh, a very complex phenomenon. Uh, you can read some uh, books and know about this, but we also uh, list ChatGPT give us an example, some information. Uh, this is applicable in bridge and also in structural engineering. So the first thing is I'm going to copy this. You also can write this uh, question directly to the chat GPT. And I said, what's, uh, what's beam vibration? In case if you do uh, some uh, mistake or some uh, spelling, then the program will detect the misspelling. It's called what's beam vibration. It's called beam vibration refers to the mechanical oscillation or movement of the beam, of a beam. And which structural mean that the primarily resist loads. So this is some information it's come to that vibration, a bit free vibration. And this occurs when a beam is displaced from that equilibrium position. Actually, uh, we have a kind of test, which one test is called a uh, force uh, based test and a second is called displacement based test. Uh, we will take a, 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 a beam and then we will aid with armor and then we will uh, see the oscillation of that beam, uh, that beam uh, until the beam will be uh, suppressed uh, because of some sort of damping that the material in the, in the material exists. And the second is going to free vibration and force vibration and resonance also uh, an, a phenomenon that, that the natural period of that beam and and also uh, the natural frequency of that force is matched together then there will be some resonance which is displacement goes uh, almost infinite and then there will be some sort of collapse and damage to the structure. And here is some uh, information. So now, uh, in the second part, I'm going to give an example. In the example, I have uh, I have given you see uh, a 10 kilonewton or just one kilonewton uh, with a force of one kilonewton. We want to aid the beam in the uh, made span. So you can actually point out in the zero point within the one meter like or any area you want. And then you should uh, say what uh, kind of support has this beam. So I'm going to call this simple support. So when you say simple support, the program will determine one side is roller, one is beam. And you must determine the beam is made of a steel uh, section, I section, which has this uh, geometry. And uh, still uh, modular velocity is 200,000 megapascal. So I copy this one and paste it. In the continuous of this, that the program will understand what is above. Of this. So some uh, okay, I'm gonna call uh, and then the program will calculate for us the natural frequency for us. It's called the formula for the natural frequency if, and then also the constraint load, and everything they will give us for us. The first thing the program will uh, give the natural frequency for smooth vibration, and then uh, the mass. It will calculate the mass. And then it will determine the area of the uh, section. And then uh, it, it's some actually something is not giving. It's the density is not giving. The program will uh, assume this one because it already defined here. And then giving the first uh, natural frequency is 0.27 hertz. And we determine the natural frequency. And what we're gonna do is we wanna determine when the external force is applied to that beam and want to see the vibration so in here in the second question called draw the displacement and acceleration of the beam during 10 seconds after uh, the force aid use height you can change the question in different uh, scenario but uh, I, I i made like this same now you can see here it's me it, it asking okay and you should have uh, Python in your computer and also you should have uh, Matplot and it's going to continue and here is the final one and I'm going to copy this code and you can read the code and understand so I already have the Python and also Matplot in my computer I'm going to call save and then going to but remember uh, now I already saved this as a Python file in case uh, you copy here it's not the same that you must come to the save as or save you find a location and you must determine the Python uh, extension Python and you give the name called uh, beam 
beam vibration. And now we're going to save it and I'm going to run this code. So now you can see this is the uh, first one in the displacement using meter and the second one is acceleration. So when we add the beam in the metal side, so that we will uh, actually measure the displacement and acceleration in that point and because the cross section is same, you can uh, measure in any point the displacement and vibration. So you can uh, solve a very complex uh, problem using uh, this uh, chart GPT uh, program. And then you can save it and for your reference and also for your work. So that's all for this tutorial. If you have any question, please put in the comment and I'll find an answer.